Many new Tesla Cybercab prototypes have been spotted testing around Austin near Giga, Texas in the very first days of the new year. At the same time, Elon Musk has made a major revelation about robo-taxis that has sparked widespread curiosity. Over the past few weeks, attention on Tesla robo-taxi has continued to intensify, and the company has clearly stepped up its focus on this project. By 2026, the self-driving taxi business is expected to be a make-or-break segment for Tesla. In fact, the stock has reached all-time highs on the back of major progress in Tesla's robo-taxi efforts, with shareholders tying Elon Musk's massive compensation package to the successful scaling of robo-taxi. That said, regulators in Texas are beginning to tighten oversight, requiring companies to prioritize public safety rather than racing for market dominance at all costs. Many observers argue that while Waymo already has a widespread presence with a smoothly operating driverless fleet, Tesla is still struggling in the early testing phase at a relatively small scale, highlighting a clear gap in operational maturity between the two companies. Still, it's possible we've been misled and Tesla is preparing for a much bigger leap than expected. Elon Musk has previously claimed that Waymo has virtually no chance against Tesla. So what breakthroughs has Tesla Robotaxi actually achieved, and why is Elon Musk so confident that Tesla will leave its competitors far behind? Discover the latest updates right now. 2026 will be the year we see Tesla more AI-driven than ever before, meaning every product the company offers will be powered and operated by AI. Tesla's CyberCab and Tesla Bot are the main focus this year, and they are already appearing more frequently on the roads in the very first days of the new year. Recently, at least seven CyberCabs have been spotted testing on public streets in Austin and the San Francisco Bay Area. You see, one of the biggest breakthroughs behind RoboTaxi is Tesla's gradual removal of direct human supervision. In the past, despite being labeled self-driving, most systems still required a safety driver or onboard personnel to intervene when something went wrong. This not only undermined the true meaning of autonomy, but also made scaling extremely expensive. Recently, Tesla has begun testing RoboTaxis operating fully without drivers on public roads signaling that its AI system has reached a level of reliability high enough to handle complex traffic situations independently without human assistance. That said, these vehicles still have steering wheels and pedals because they are being used for testing purposes. However, when mass production begins in April, they will be deployed as robo-taxis without steering wheels or pedals. Just days earlier, around 15 cybercabs were put through crash tests at the Giga Texas factory, including at least one side impact test, demonstrating the durability of the steel body structure and rear frame assembly. It's exciting to see that RoboTaxi is finally operating without supervision and driving itself on certain routes. Elon Musk said that Tesla's self-driving taxi took him around Austin with no safety monitoring system at all. The increase in activity suggests that Tesla is accelerating testing of its two-seat autonomous vehicle ahead of its planned mass production. At Tesla's 2025 shareholder meeting, Elon Musk confirmed that production is expected to begin around April 2026, with highly ambitious targets. In an all-hands meeting earlier this year, Musk also hinted that Tesla's factories could eventually produce one cybercab every five seconds at Giga Texas. That may sound unbelievable, but it's clear the company is developing a production line that borders on the Unreal, something Musk has compared to a high-speed electronics assembly line. But that may not be all there is to this vehicle. Elon Musk has dropped a major hint suggesting the cybercab has far more to offer than what we currently know. In a post on X, he wrote, And there is so much to this car that is not obvious on the surface. In addition, Tesla has introduced a cleaning policy with fees of $50 and $150 for moderate and severe messes. At this stage, if passengers spill food, smoke, vomit, or cause significant contamination inside the vehicle, they could be fined up to $150. For situations such as dropping fries, staining the floor mats, or messes that only require vacuuming, passengers will be charged $50. These measures not only help keep the interior clean, but also encourage better passenger behavior, ensuring a comfortable experience for everyone. However, most people fail to see the real issue and constantly compare Tesla to Waymo, which is almost laughable. As we know, Tesla and Waymo are the two main contributors to the development of autonomous vehicles in the United States, and both are operating driverless ride-hailing services domestically. In Austin, Waymo has deployed around 
200 fully autonomous vehicles since March, contributing to a nationwide fleet of more than 2,500 vehicles and completing 14 million paid rides. Looking at Tesla, the company currently has only a small fleet, about 30 Model Ys and roughly 10 Cybercabs. People also keep pointing out that Waymo can confidently pick up passengers without anyone in the driver's seat, while each Tesla taxi still has to carry a safety driver to monitor and intervene when necessary. Okay, don't let these numbers fool you. If Elon Musk wanted to, Tesla could deploy around 10,000 or even 50,000 robo-taxis on the streets of Austin as early as this year. The only thing holding them back is the safety supervisor sitting in the passenger seat. As long as the human factor remains, scaling is almost meaningless. The more vehicles Tesla adds, the more safety drivers it has to hire, train, and pay for a role it is trying to eliminate as quickly as possible. Clearly, that makes no sense. Beyond that, another major difference lies in their strategic direction. Waymo is focused almost entirely on operating in large cities, while Tesla has stated that it intends to scale its self-driving technology to every vehicle, in every location, worldwide. Outside the U.S., China is expected to be the next testing ground for Tesla RoboTaxi, with an official launch in the Asian market projected around February to March 2026. This is the real difference between the two companies, and, you know, Tesla uses vehicles it manufactures itself, such as the Model Y and Cybercab, whereas Waymo relies on a variety of models from different automakers in its fleet. They also take very different approaches to autonomous driving technology. Waymo uses an extremely complex sensor suite with 29 cameras, five LiDAR sensors, and six radars positioned around the vehicle, along with a dedicated high-performance computing unit mounted in the rear. This approach prioritizes safety and highly accurate environmental perception, especially in complex traffic scenarios. Thanks to LiDAR, Waymo vehicles can precisely measure distances and generate highly detailed 3D maps. However, the trade-off is an extremely high hardware cost, estimated at around $180,000 per vehicle, and these cars are not sold to individual consumers, operating exclusively as part of Waymo's robo-taxi service. By contrast, Tesla is pursuing a hardware simplification strategy, using just nine cameras and no LiDAR or radar at all relying primarily on computer vision and artificial intelligence. This dramatically lowers vehicle costs, around $44,990, and the cars are sold directly to consumers. Tesla is betting that powerful software and AI can compensate for the lack of expensive sensors, enabling much faster scaling. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that LiDAR is inefficient and outdated for self-driving cars. He wrote on X, Waymo never really had a chance against Tesla. This will be obvious in hindsight. Okay, once the safety supervisor is completely removed, everything opens up, and Tesla has already begun to achieve this. We are no longer seeing Tesla employees sitting inside Tesla RoboTaxis. The vehicles are now operating autonomously in a way that has impressed many observers. At Giga Shanghai, Tesla rolls a new Model Y off the line roughly every 30 seconds. So the current numbers only look bad if you focus on the short term. With the Cybercab, Elon Musk is even confident that the vehicle can be assembled in just five seconds. Yes, that sounds crazy, but it's entirely plausible because it has far fewer components than a Model Y. As a result, Tesla's robo-taxi network is likely to scale much faster than Waymo's once the company's ready. Right now, Tesla is in the final stage of pushing its software toward maximum maturity. That's why the company isn't rushing to expand the robo-taxi network yet, instead prioritizing testing until errors are nearly eliminated. Although Tesla's robo-taxi network is showing positive signs, when it comes to vehicle sales in 2025, Tesla has largely been left behind by BYD. According to Reuters, Tesla has officially lost its position as the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer to China's BYD as Tesla's global sales declined for a second consecutive year amid intensifying competition. The end of U.S. tax incentives and negative impacts on brand perception are widely seen as factors that have weakened demand for Tesla vehicles. Meanwhile, BYD's EV sales rose 28% in 2025 to 2.26 million vehicles, while Tesla's sales fell by as much as 8% to just 1.64 million units. 
BYD's growth has been particularly strong in Europe, where the Chinese automaker is widening the gap over its American rival. This has raised serious questions about the long-term stability of Tesla's core automotive business after two straight years of declining sales. As we understand it, in the U.S. alone, EV demand has slowed since late September after the administration of President Donald Trump ended the $7,500 federal tax credit for EV buyers. As a result, Tesla delivered just over 418,000 vehicles in the fourth quarter, down more than 15% year over year and below analysts' expectations. This brought Tesla's total deliveries for 2025 to 1.64 million vehicles, down from 1.79 million the previous year. Analysts say Tesla is facing significant pressure in North America and Europe due to the rapid rise of Chinese automakers, competition from European brands such as Volkswagen and BMW, and negative consumer reactions to Elon Musk's statements and what many see as overhyped promises. By contrast, BYD reported record overseas sales of 1 million vehicles, up roughly 150% from the prior year, and has set a goal of selling 1.6 million vehicles internationally in the near future. 2024 marked the first year in a decade that Tesla saw a decline in electric vehicle deliveries. Toward the end of that year, billionaire Elon Musk insisted that Tesla would return to growth in 2025, projecting EV sales growth of 20 to 30 percent. Even in the early months of 2025, the company repeatedly emphasized its goal of returning to growth. However, reality moved in the opposite direction. People have also pointed out that Elon Musk once teased on X what he called the most epic demo ever, which was supposed to take place toward the end of the year. Yet even after the new year began, that demonstration still hasn't happened. Initially, many expected it to take place at Tesla's shareholder event in November, but that event ultimately featured little more than Optimus robots, performing a few dance moves alongside Musk. Subsequent reports suggested that the long-awaited demo was related to Tesla's new Roadster, a project that has been repeatedly delayed over the past five years. More recently, Musk said, the demonstration may be pushed back to April 2026. Tesla Semi is also one of the company's most delayed projects. Tesla previously announced plans to begin semi-production in 2025. However, Elon Musk has since confirmed that mass production has been pushed back again to 2026. Under the latest plan, Tesla. Semi could enter production early that year with output potentially reaching up to 50,000 units at a new factory, spanning roughly 4 million square feet. Even so, industry observers remain skeptical, as the Semi is far more difficult to manufacture than Tesla's standard vehicles, and building a scalable production line for heavy-duty trucks presents significant challenges. Shifting to battery technology, solid-state batteries have long been one of the most closely watched developments in the future of electric vehicles. They are widely considered the most powerful battery technology capable of taking EVs to the next level. Ranges of 700 to 800 miles are entirely possible with this type of battery. Okay, Tesla, Chevrolet, Ford, and Hyundai currently dominate the US EV market, but all of them still rely on lithium ion battery technology that is more than three decades old. The industry is well aware of its limitations, which is why the race to develop solid state batteries has become so intense with Toyota aiming to launch the world's first EVs powered by solid-state batteries in 2027. However, China is pursuing a different roadmap and strategy. The real story isn't just about building a better battery, it's about who gets to set the rules. By introducing the world's first national standard for solid-state batteries in electric vehicles, China is positioning itself to define how this next-generation technology is classified, tested, and ultimately commercialized. According to a key detail in the published standard, for a battery to be considered truly solid state, it must not exceed a weight loss rate of 0.5% under vacuum drying conditions, a stricter threshold than previous industry guidelines. The goal is clear, to distinguish genuinely solid state designs from transitional batteries that still rely on liquid electrolytes. This distinction is critical, as claims around solid state batteries begin to extend beyond conventional passenger vehicles. Solid-state batteries are often seen as the solution to many of the concerns around electric vehicles that led to a significant drop in consumer confidence in 2025. While the technology promises major improvements in energy density, safety, and lifespan, commercialization has been slow, 
partly due to the lack of shared definitions and common standards. China's approach directly addresses that gap. The timing of China's move is no coincidence. The country is on track to become the world's largest automotive producer, and as mentioned earlier, BYD has already overtaken Tesla to become the leading global EV brand. At the same time, top battery makers such as Cattle and BYD, together supplying more than half of the world's EV batteries, are targeting limited solid-state battery production around 2027, with broader deployment expected toward the end of the decade. Okay, this means solid-state batteries are on their way to showroom floors. As automakers worldwide race toward next-generation battery technology, China is defining what solid-state battery truly means, shaping the market long before the first mass-produced cells arrive. If you'd like to learn more about solid-state batteries, leave a comment below. We'll dive deeper into the topic in upcoming episodes. The year 2025 marked a period of significant challenges but also major transformation for Tesla. On the surface, sales figures painted a less than encouraging picture as the company recorded its second consecutive year of declining vehicle deliveries, falling from roughly 1.74 million units to just over 1.64 million. While the drop was not dramatic, it was enough to drive negative headlines, especially as Tesla lost its title as the world's best-selling EV maker to BYD. However, if you look only at sales numbers, the picture of Tesla in 2025 becomes incomplete. Beneath the surface, Tesla achieved several foundational milestones. The Model Y continued to hold its position as the best-selling electric vehicle in major markets such as the United States and Australia, and possibly worldwide. More importantly, Tesla set a new record in energy deployment, with its supercharger network delivering up to 6.7 terawatt-hours of electricity over the year. With more than 75,000 charging stalls globally, Tesla remains far ahead of competitors in charging infrastructure a long-term competitive advantage that very few automakers can replicate. At the same time, Tesla is clearly shifting its strategic focus away from a pure volume race and toward higher value areas such as autonomous driving, robotaxis, energy, and automation. The completion of a more than 2,700-mile cross-country trip across the United States by FSD without human intervention was a symbolic milestone demonstrating that Tesla's self-driving technology has reached an entirely new threshold. While the technology remains controversial and is not yet ready for mass global deployment, it sends a strong signal that Tesla's future is not solely about selling cars. Okay, above all, it's clear that Tesla is willing to sacrifice short-term growth in pursuit of a bolder long-term strategy. As the global auto industry enters an era of fierce competition and thinning margins, especially from Chinese manufacturers, Choosing not to dive headfirst into a race to the bottom on pricing may be a smart move. Tesla is no longer positioning itself as just a car company, but as a technology, energy, and automation company. Whether this strategy succeeds or fails may not be immediately reflected in Tesla's 2025 sales figures, but it will be a decisive factor in shaping Tesla's position from 2026 to 2030 and well beyond. Would you buy a Tesla today? Or would you choose a Chinese EV brand like BYD instead? What do you think will define Tesla's future more? Cars, robotaxis, or AI and robotics? Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episodes. Goodbye.